Hi, uh, I'm Brendan Gibson. I'm the executive producer at London Studio, working on Project Morpheus, and we're here at E3. So talk about creatively what VR has opened up for you guys. Okay, so I mean we're building all our experiences from the ground up for VR, um, so we're not porting anything. And we found there is a new sort of rule set, the things we're having to learn uh, that are maybe counterintuitive, you wouldn't do them in a different way. So for example, this experience we've got, uh, the London Heist, um, we've had to really think about how you can make it easy for people to get to grips with an experience, make it physical and very sort of natural to play. Talk a little bit about what this experience is all about. Okay, so the London Heist puts you into the shoes of a East End uh, gangster, uh, not a particularly nice guy, um, and here you're really sort of living an action movie. You're stepping into his shoes, you're not watching it on the screen, you're there. So in this experience, you're trying to get away from a bunch of Russian mobsters. You start off in a nice, nice grounded experience. You're in a van, you can play with the radio, you can open the door chap next to you will react to what you're doing he's called Mickey he's not such a nice guy either and then these mobsters will attack you and you've got to defend yourself as best you can and you guys also previously have shown gunplay when it comes to this particular uh, game as well talk about some of the different gameplay aspects okay so we uh, had a build at GDC of the London Heist and two other scenes first one was you got interrogated by Mickey so uh, here we had him staring at you he was really getting in your face, getting angry. He'd ask you to do certain things. He'd react to you. He'd flick a cigarette in your face. And there we wanted to create what it would be like to be with a virtual actor where he's really there with you. And then you went into another scene, which was you have a desk in front of you. And there you had to solve a little puzzle, find something that was hidden inside that desk. And one of the great things about that is this desk felt fantastically real. It was a great presence, simple object interaction using the move. Um, and the, the best thing that we would see quite a lot is because the desk really felt like it was there, is when people have finished, they put their controllers down onto the desk, which of course isn't there, and they drop them on the floor. And speaking of controllers, talk about, about the, the, the fact that people can play with the traditional, but also PlayStation Move and what that opens up. Sure, so we've built a couple of experiences that are pure like headset controlled experiences, where you can look around or you can control uh, what you're doing just with a headset. Uh, we find uh, PlayStation Move is a great natural companion, because if you've got your head and your eyes, now you've got your hands as well. Uh, and it's yeah, super simple, natural, people pick up the controls. When people have to walk or move, how, how have you gotten around that aspect? Okay, so in this experience, we're moving you by putting you into a moving vehicle. And so that's a kind of uh, one way that we've discovered. It's like, this is quite an interesting way that we can create motion, create movement around the player, so it's still 360 action around them, but they themselves aren't actually walking around. Are you guys bypassing the, the actual ability to walk or navigate? We've been looking at a lot of different experience. We're trying out a lot of different stuff. So um, we're going we're gonna to see what we can come up with. What excites you about VR even at this early stage? I think it's because it's something really new. Uh, you know, when people talked about VR, it's been around in the past, but this time it feels like we've got the technology to make it a real viable experience for someone. And um, when you play it, you re you can't. It's so hard to describe. It's not the same as traditional gaming. It is something really different. And for us, that's yeah, super exciting to work on.